All right, guys, it's springtime. It's March, but it's 45 degrees. It's rainy. It's nasty. It's just not a pretty day. But you know what? I'm going fishing. All right, so what's today's battle plan? Well, I think I'm going to start back here in a creek. I'm going to do a little bit of slow trolling for some crappie and perch. Going to use those for bait, maybe for dinner, and uh, then we're going to see what the catfish are doing. Uh, take a little look around for them. That's the plan. We'll see what happens. If the crappie bites on fire, I may stick with that. If it's really bad, I may bail on it. All right, guys, making my first long line pull of the year uh, for a crappie, crappy, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I call them both. I throw the word around loosely either way. But anyway, uh, doing some long line trolling. I got six rods out uh, that have jigs on them. They are way behind the boat, about 100, 120 feet. Uh, and I kind of got them staggered. And based on the weight of the jig, they'll be in different parts of the water column. We'll get into that later. Uh, and then I've got two lines that are straight down underneath the boat, uh, double hook rigs that are right on the bottom. So I'm kind of figuring out where the fish are, where they're at in the water column, what's going on, figuring out where the feeding fish are, marking a little bit of stuff on sonar. And the coolest thing is I've just seen some fish on top of the water up here. Those are most likely white perch. Uh, that's another thing that we will catch uh, when we're trying to do this. So. Uh, just going to figure out what's what here. Water's about 57 degrees, so uh, pretty decent water temperature. And uh, it's very clear, so uh, overcast day. We got good conditions. We should be able to catch some fish. At least I hope. Boom, got one, guys. Coming right through that area where stuff is on top. I don't know if this is a perch or a... Yes, it is. It is a perch. Good size perch, too. It'll take them all day long. It's that same area I seen those fish feeding in on top of the water. And that one came off of one of the down lines. Good size one, which we will gladly keep. Get another minnow on here, drop it back down. Slowing the boat down a little bit through here. Oop, there's one popping, popping behind me. Down on the bottom. The good thing about these circle hooks is Let's stay hooked up. Another perch. So that is probably what we saw over there on the sonar or on top of the water. A little perch. Some to eat, some for bait. These fish are definitely hanging toward the bottom. I haven't had any on the long lines yet. Again, those long lines are pulled up in the middle of the water column. Some more, there's some thread fin you can see over there on top of the water blowing up. Definitely some perch in here. If it gets going too good, I may have to put both of these down lines on the same side of the boat. So, I'm gonna pop it on that. Oh, got him. Got him on this one anyway. Just saw a bunch of stuff on the sonar and actually killed the motor. That is a Perchalewski. Get him in the live well. There's one of this other rod. I don't know if it's the same fish coming to it or not. Small one. Good bait size. They're not exactly on fire with the bite. I'm marking stuff in here, but it's not crazy. Bunch of stuff blowing up. Up there, you see the gulls going to it. I saw gulls sitting on top of the water up here. And I said, you know what? There's probably some fish up there coming to the top. So that's why I'm gonna keep going up into this creek further and further, uh, just to see what's back in there. Obviously more stuff halfway up the creek than at the mouth. So there may be more up here. Again, the birds are hanging around for some reason. So apparently there's some stuff up here. It may only be perch, could be crappie, we'll see. I'm gonna keep pulling through here. Nice and slow, it's beautiful. No boat traffic. Great day to be on the water. Boom, got him. Got him. They are not on fire. They're hitting, they're not on fire. It's not a super crazy aggressive bite. These things, when, oh, there goes another rod right there. Another perch. He's 
stays on there. Boom. Oh, missed him, missed him, missed him, missed him, missed him, missed him. Missed him, missed him. Man, all the perch are hitting right on the bottom. Uh, they have hit none of the suspended lines, none of the ones that are long line jigs. A little flutter, flutter on it. Man, they are not aggressive. They're in here. Ah. Maybe if I'd catch them, maybe that's the problem. Maybe this is anger, angler failure here more than a fish failure. Oh, got him, got him, got him. It's funny, even on these uh, double hook down lines, sometimes they'll hit one over another I think it's I think it's the sinker. I think it's actually the sinker that makes a difference in whether they're getting hit. Uh, usually I'll put those little egg sinkers on there. Sometimes I'll have a bank sinker, a small one ounce bank sinker, and uh, sometimes they'll hit one over the other. It varies. That's the crazy thing. It's like there's no rhyme or reason to it. Another small white perch. Not an eating size one, but great bait size. Stock up when I get them. Got him. Did he stay? Did he stay? Did he stay? Oh yeah, it's there. Hooked it, hooked it. A little more feisty. A little better size. Not a super whopper, but we will take him. Yes, I am using circle hooks on these rigs to catch these fish. I am. They work. And yes, they will catch crappie also. Believe it or not. So. That is, we put about seven in the boat so far. So, not crazy. They are not stacked up and frenzied. The one thing that's great about perch is, that let's just get a pop. Crappie. Nope. Might have had a crappie on one of the long lines get hit. One thing about the perch is they'll get schooled up certain times of the year, and uh, man, you can catch them one after another. The interesting thing is this winter we have not caught a lot of perch. We did not have the catching of perch like we normally do. Still catching them, they're still around, but. For whatever reason, man, it has been tough this winter to catch them. So, who knows what the deal is there. Stuff changes, stuff evolves. We've had a relatively mild winter. Uh, that play a part. Who knows? Uh, all you can do is go out and fish. Y'all know that. Put the baits in the water and uh, keep trying stuff. Stuff does change. You know, some things that bring fish into an area. Uh, for a long period of time may change. Maybe you have something to do with runoff from, you know, you may have very fertile water, a lot of bait in it, and all of a sudden that changes. So you have to adapt, you have to overcome, figure out what's working. What we're trying to do today, we ain't figured out what's working with the crappie yet. Pop, pop, got one to hit. They're scattered few and far between. Yes is gonna be a mess I'm trying to get him out of that other line it's a better perch a better size one they're here he's actually got two hooks in his mouth i think he ate two baits good for him perch some feeders there I'm like a little fish But man, 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 it is not consistent. It is just so scattered. You just have to cover water and pick some off. Another one on there. Not a single one on any of the suspended baits so far. I'm kind of getting to the back of this creek. Well, at least the deeper part of it. there's some shallower stuff i may go ahead and pull through it just to just to see just to get a good recon on this creek to see what's working and what's not for future down the road but uh 
definitely the, the more the bigger concentration of fish and the better bite more consistent bite was back there around there he goes oh did i get him yep 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 it's the one i just dropped in it's on further back but poof here we go catch two back to back which is nice out of there small one again these things are just so scattered in where they're at that's the closest I've caught two of them together since we've been pulling this creek this is just for the record you guys that are new to doing this for crappie fishing it's kind of a it's pre-spawn and they're kind of they're not up on the bank where they spawn so they're kind of in some in-between transitional areas depending on what the temperature's doing what water temperatures are like what the weather's like they'll move in and out of this deep water in these creeks up toward the bank some creeks they're into uh and staged up some of them they're out of and the thing that's crazy is depending on what happens with the weather you get a warm snap a bunch of them may move in there and then pull out at the first cold snap or weather change or whatever or if the bait leaves so it's kind of all over the place you kind of have to keep on your toes what works one day uh if there's a little bit of a weather change may not work the next so that's kind of what i'm up against there obviously big weather change uh this past weekend uh when i was breaking my boat motor in I was up in here a lot of crappy fishermen in here i was watching them uh they were uh catching some fish or a lot of undersized fish but they were catching fish so um uh, you know they're in and out of here weather change play a part could have been but just uh sometimes you just have to cover some water and see what works there's what you're feeding on guys there's the thread fin net full of those and you got all the baits you need Get this one baited up and back out there. Boom. Got hooked up on something here. Was trying to deal with a long line I thought was getting hit. That is a crappie. Small one. Nice to see one finally. About to forget what they look like. A little bitty one. In case you wonder what they look like, that's what one looks like. <laughs> fish get that one back Shook. notice i got a couple of hits on some of those long lines that were out earlier that one came on the down line we'll see we'll keep dragging through here a little ways Bang. got it got him that is a keeper crappie. There we go. Finally. Maybe this is where they're at. Maybe they're back here. Not a super monster, but put him in the boat. Okay. That was on one of the uh Carolina hookers jigs a little minnow tipping on it chartreuse and white there's the combo there bang got another one got another one maybe this is where it's at interesting lord knows we made a long pull in here and all of a sudden we're getting bopped on these uh Long lines back here. It's a big perch. Good sized perch. Thought we had a good crappie for a second. It's that pink and white Carolina hookers jig. It's a good size one there. We are dragging. Boom, there's another one already. That did not take long. 
I threw that one out, let it fall, hit bottom, poof. That is a perch, again. Again, a good size perch. That same color Carolina hooker's jig. Again, decent size one. If you're gonna catch these things, catch them big. I got a feeling that I've got one downline left. I hadn't been able to put the other ones in yet. Got a feeling. That one ain't got no bait on. That's my feeling. All right, guys. I'm going to have to reel them up and call it a day. That's, uh, wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. Wasn't on fire, but, uh, happy with the fish I caught. I caught a bunch. Uh, we're always looking for that explosive bite, man, where it's just crazy, crazy. But, man, I think I got 17 or 18, something like that, and a catfish. I didn't get skunked on a catfish, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, so that's it for now. I'm gonna put it on the trailer. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Here are a couple more videos that I think you're gonna like. I'd watch that one, and then that one. No. Now do do that one first and then that one. I, I don't know. Just watch them both. They're both good.